Who handled Amatex housing installation? I did, ma'am. You did? Yes, I did. Can you explain to me why you use substandard material for the gas installation? Mr. Folari, I know very well that you supervise that particular project. Please explain to me why they have leakage here and there. Ma, 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 ma. see, we use the best material for that project, though. I, I still don't know why there should be any leakage. Can you listen to yourself? Are you even listening to yourself? The company gives you enough money to buy good material, but no! You would rather buy some standard material. Merci. I'm done. Hope to see you again some other time. I've closed. Mr. Folari, we're not closed yet. Where are you going to? I've closed. Mr. Folari! Hey. <laughs> What's your damage? Madam just fired me. What? Why? Just because of a little mistake. It's so unfair. You know what? Just hang around somewhere, okay? Let me go talk to you. No, okay? no, no. Don't bother. I don't want any trouble. I'm leaving. Just give me a few minutes. For Larry! For Larry! I saw Falari leaving the office. He said you fired him. Yes, I did. Falari is incompetent. Imagine him trying to spoil your working relationship I have with Amatex Group of Company for his selfish interest. How do you mean? He used substandard material for their installation. I mean, I just got a phone with the manager and he was complaining bitterly. He said it was badly done. And they already have leakage. I mean, thank God they found out in time. Else would have been a different story altogether. What kind of greed is this? Was he trying to dent the image of this company? Oh, you walked in a while ago trying to fight me for firing him. No, no. Wait. Thank goodness I met you. I thought you would have gone home. Good day to you too. <laughs> Sorry. Good evening. How are you? I'm alright. You came to see me? Of course, I always come to see you. <sighs> Only when you want something. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, come on. Just say it already. Okay. What do you want? <sighs> I need a job urgently. I here mean, we go. I've been living here for two months. I still know the job. So, I was thinking you can, you know, ask your friend to fix me up in this company. Any position will do. Well, the only position we have in this company right now is the post of a manager. And you, my dear, you don't meet the requirement. But don't worry. Whenever something that you can fit into comes out, I'll let you know. But Loveline is your best friend. You can tell her your cousin needs a job. I mean, I can't live off of you forever. Seriously? So, I should tell my boss to sack all the staff because my cousin needs a job, yeah? Um, anyways, how much is the manager paid? And why would I tell you that? I'm just wondering. Well, if you must know, it's between three fifty to five hundred thousand naira, with lots of allowances. That's huge. Yeah. Oh, I wish I met the requirements. Well, you don't. So go home. Oh. Girl, you are so damn. 
hot. Mm -hmm. You are the definition of sexy. You can say that again. You know, Gary. <laughs> I don't understand. Is that one British pigeon? It is, you know, Grio. Whatever. Oh, anyway, you're so hot that I don't think your husband will ever look outside. He wouldn't dare. Mm. That's why I try to look hot and spicy all the time. <laughs> so that all these slay queens that call themselves small girl, big girl, won't tickle my husband's fancy. Mm. You're funny. Where do you get this from? Mm. Yeah. I see them all the time online. Mm. I know their tricks. My dad asked, by the way, how are you doing? I'm not fine. I'm frustrated. I need a job ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. I don't force myself to work. I just sit at home and look pretty. While my husband goes to work and make all the money to maintain a queen like me. Oh, that reminds me. There's a job opening at my cousin's gas serving company. It's okay. a manager's post, so the pay is quite juicy. If your husband is interested, I'll find out the details and I'll let you know. He meets the requirements. But you know my husband is paid 250,000 naira, right? But the pay is between 350 to 500,000 a month plus allowance. Are you kidding me? Ah, Kobe must apply. Mm. I have to warn you though, the bus lady is quite straight. Uh -huh. Like you don't know Kobe is workaholic. Anyway, that's by the way, what should I get you? I have everything in this house. You know what's up now. <laughs> Honey. Yeah? I want to talk to you. Okay. A friend of mine told me about this wonderful company that needs a manager. Hey, you know her now, Peace. Of course I know Peace. Yes. Your friend? Exactly, yeah. And I know you fit perfectly for the job. You have all the requirements. Wait, is this a joke or something? Did I ever tell you I was looking for a job? Honey, their pay is good. Uh-huh. Yes. So? I mean, you earn 200,000 Naira a month. This job pays 350,000 Naira to 550,000 Naira a month with allowances. You can't afford to miss this opportunity. Listen to me. I really like my job. And the pay is not meager. I find fulfillment at my office every single day. And that's important for any human being. I'm sorry, I'm not going to leave my job for any other job. Why? What is why? Are you okay? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You don't want to think and reason be. Wait, oh, you don't want to grow. Madam, Madam, I am very comfortable with my job and I'm not going to leave my job for anything that's uncertain. Do you understand me? Let's go and look for a job because he's paying more than what I'm making. Okay, I understand you. I am not saying you should leave your job. Okay? All I am saying is apply for the job, then go for interview. HR has asked Mr. Kobe to see you. Oh, yes, please let him in. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, please sit. Thank you. I've gone through your profile and I must say you're well qualified for this job. Thank you. You left a reputable company to work for us. Can you please let me know why you resigned? Well, I, I resigned because I needed more. 
challenging job to fulfill my cravings. You know, I wanted something that will spur me and bring out the best in me. I see. Well, I trust my HR to choose the best candidates for this job. And I'm hoping you will do your best. I will, ma'am. Very well then. Have you been shown your office? Yes, they have. Okay. So you can leave now. Okay. Thank you. Babe, my husband's new job is. Thanks for telling me about the company. It's okay. Now I can live in luxury than <laughs> ever before. I'm so happy for him. Like, I'm not surprised he got the job though. Like your husband is one hell of a nerd. Mm -hmm. He is intelligent. He is hardworking. With a hot and sensible wife. <sighs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you have a very successful husband. Behind every successful man, there is a woman. And that woman in Kobe's case is Moa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you have to keep him tight. It's rare for husbands like him. Mm-hmm. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so blessed to have him. <laughs> oh. Babes. Have you seen your new manager? Man, that guy is a hard species. Oh, I just feel like devouring you right now. Matt, are you done with the financial report? Yes, ma'am. All done. It's lunchtime. Shouldn't you be having lunch rather than sitting and gossip? So I chose to spend my lunch break with my boss lady. You don't have a problem with that, do you? You really need to see this guy. He's so hot. <gasps> I've seen him. There is nothing spectacular. Go, I need to walk. No way, babes. We are going together for lunch. Up, up. Plus, you know, Mr. Handsome will be at the cafeteria right now. Because I really need to feed my eyes. My tummy can wait. Up, up. You are sick. Let's go. Um, for your information, Mr. Handsome, like you call it, is a married man. Oh, come on. Flirting with him is not going to kill anybody, is it? Stay away from somebody's <laughs> husband. <laughs> well, um, my team and I have completed the gas installations at the Ferguson Housing Estate. When the Ferguson was so impressed, he gave us some new contacts. That's really nice to hear. Thank you. Mr. Coffee. You have proven to be very effective and diligent in carrying out your duties. Thank you. I'm impressed. So have you met um, the new contact? Yes, sir, I have. Um, in fact, uh, we've closed some deals and uh, hopefully by next week we'll be doing installations on the new facilities. Wow. Very impressive. Thank you. We'll be going on a one-week business trip to the U.S. The company will make arrangements for one more person you would like to come along with. Okay. That'll be oh. all for now. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, can leave. All right. Honey, welcome. Hello, how are you today? Look, uh, have you good, good words? I'm not happy. Okay. What happened? How do I say it? I was on Monica's Facebook wall and I saw this near Range Rover spot her husband bought for her and she's getting a lot of likes and everyone pouring endless accolades on her I don't I don't understand like what does that have to do with you being happy or not honey Monica was my cosmate back then 
back then in the university. Uh -huh. And now she's driving the latest Range Rover Sport. And I'm still driving Lexus 350. Don't you understand? Oh, yeah. I understand now. I totally understand. You almost nagged me to death to buy you that Lexus 350, even though it nearly put a dent on my fine eyes. But yet I bought it for you. And now you want me to buy you what? Range Rover Sports. Where do you think I'm going to get that money from? But you can afford it if you want to. After all, you're well paid. My dear wife, I do not have such money. Understand? What kind of a stingy man are you? See, whether you like it or not, you must get me a new car. Did you hear that? I don't even know what you're saying. You must get me a new cow. <laughs> you really did send the mail? Okay. Just forward it back to me. No, 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 no problem. I'll see to it. All right. Okay, then, just let me know. Okay, you have a nice day. Thank you. How may I help you? Um, these are the contracts for the new gas deals we have. Uh, I will need you to sign them so I can start work ASAP. I'll go through and sign them later. Okay. And uh, also, considering the U.S. trip, I'll be going alone. Why? I mean, I thought you would love to come with your wife. Yes, I would have loved to, but uh, she has some serious business to attend to, so she can't come. That's all right. It's no problem. You can leave now. I think you should take some time off after work. You know, go out, pamper yourself for at least one week before coming back to Nigeria. You need to rest. <laughs> Mata, I have a company to run. I know. But not to the detriment of your well-being, girl. Lovely, you're working too hard. Like you always did when we were in school. You need to rest. You really need to rest. Okay, I know. I know I need rest. But I wouldn't want to run down the company my parents left for me. Girl, you are doing well with this company. Look at you. I'm sure your parents will be smiling down at you from heaven right now. Okay, fine. I'll take two days off. No, Happy now? No. Two days is too small. At least one week. No way! Lovelyn, you need to rest. Can you just help me pack? Sounding like my aunt. Please. I don't sound like an aunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, just play it anyhow. Hello, handsome. How about you? Ah, you're welcome back, Kobe. Thank I you. I really missed you. So, what did you bring from the tree? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, you mean... Nothing. He didn't bring anything, like, nothing at all? Nothing. That's not fair. So what are you going to do now to make it up? I know. How about you take me out for lunch? Martha, please, I'm really busy right now. Can we talk about this some other time? Please? Okay, I'll go. But I'll be right back. I want you to break down. What do you want? Why are you in my office? Uh, I sent you some documents for signing. Uh, it's about the new installations we have to do next week. I'm here to sign them. Anything else? No, I um, also wanted to check and see how you were doing. I heard you were back. Oh, 
Okay. Babes, can you imagine? I went to Kobe's office the other day to flirt with him and he politely turned me down. Matt, I hope you know you're not paid to come to this office and flirt with a man. I know, it's just a harmless flirt. Kobe is so rigid. Despite his cuteness, he just doesn't want to use it to his own advantage. Who does that? Are you listening to me? Not even listening. I've got work to do. I'm definitely not in the mood for your gossips. I need Cobrams to take this file. He needs to work on them. Okay, I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll call him. Penny for your thoughts. Look, babe, I've been doing some serious thinking, and I strongly believe I should resign from my job. What? Are you out of your mind? No, listen to me. Calm down. I'm starting to feel very uncomfortable in the office. This job is like it's starting to pose a threat to our, 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 our marriage. Wait. I don't understand you. A job that pays very well with juicy allowances? How does it pose a threat to our relationship? Look, it's not all about money. Listen to me. I feel the distance. We used to be closer, tight. Since I started working in our office, now everything has changed. Olga, we are better now. You are not resigning, and that's final. See, don't try me, oh. Don't try nonsense with me. Kobe! Hey! It's not always about money. Olga, you've not seen it. Don't try. Try it now. Try it, Kobe. Try it. Are you working for the machine? Oh, to the it's like you don't know me, oh. You don't know me, Oga. Try it. Kobe. Kobe, wake up. Mm, what is it now? Why are you still sleeping by this time? It's 9.30 a.m. Aren't you going to work today? I don't want to go today. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? Do you want your boss to fire you? Look, I have a lot of contacts. I will get a different job. It's not a big deal. Getting a job is not the problem. But getting a better job is where the problem lies. Come, stand up. Wake up. Stand up and go to uh, work. Stop yeah. being lazy. It would be a lad. Oh, I'm nagging, right? So telling you the truth now, I'm nagging. Come on, stand up from there. My dear, stand up. Uh, stand now. up, stand up and go to work. Please stand up. Stop being a lazy man. What is it? Shit, I don't go to work like stop it now. Where my slippers? Bring my slippers. Just go. Go in, I'll get it for you. Go. Uh -huh. uh -uh. What rubbish? Hey, how did the meeting go? Bobby. Would you? Would you How did the meeting go? It's good. It went. It went you well. look you look troubled, are you? Are you alright? I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm fine. You want to take the day off? 
No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm okay. I insist you leave. I mean, you look troubled. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm the good. boss and I insist you leave. Thank you. What are you trying to do? Get out of my office. Get out! Do. Get out of my office. Get out! Get out! Why are you home this early? No, answer my question first. I was asked to go home. Don't tell me you have been sacked. No, I was asked to go home and rest. Are you satisfied? Hope you're not lying to me. Oh, come on. Give me a break. For your information, I'm not going back to that office, no matter what you say. I said it! I said it! This one that you have been acting lazy these days. How are you going to take care of me? If you resign, how are we supposed to feed? See how selfish you are? You are so selfish. The only thing you care about is yourself. What about me? I said I'm not comfortable with that job. Can't you understand it? And I'm not going back to the office, no matter what you say. So just forget about it. Kobe. <laughs> He's not going back to the office. Really? Hi. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Yes, just send send the mail to me. Okay. All right then. Okay. Hi. I went to Kobe's office for him to sign his appointment, but he wasn't there. Kobe's not at his office. Yes, ma'am. Why? I mean, how dare him not at work at this time? I will not tolerate such nonsense. Tell him to see me immediately he comes in. Okay, but could you just give him some time? He might still turn up. He was acting all strange and weird yesterday and I asked him to go home. Well, that does not give him the right to stay home today, without my permission. But you and I know that Kobe is very punctual. Something must have happened for him not to be here by now. Please, give him some time. Really? Kobe! Kobe! How long do you intend living like this? Eh? You want to plunge us into poverty, right? I have enough to take care of you. And I will get another job soon. Oh, really? That steals my moonlight. We know how difficult it is to get a very good job, yet you had one and you threw it out the window. Who caused it? You! You caused it! I was comfortable at my former workplace, but what did you do? You pushed me to get me a different job because of greed, money! You should be thanking me for making you land a better job. Nobody. I agree with you, it's just a waste of my time. Kobe! Kobe! Kobe, I will not give you beauty space! I will not give you a pretty space until you get yourself a job. Lazy man. Idiot. You will meet me in this house. What is a beautiful lady like you doing here all alone? I was bored at home, so 
I decided to come here and cool off. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Well, my name is Chief Basil, but you can call me Chief. I'm Ruby. Wow. You are a very beautiful lady. Oh, thank you. Your boyfriend will be very, very lucky. <laughs> Drink on so that I can buy you more wine. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was about leaving before you came in. Ah. Oh. I would love us to be friends. Hmm? Okay. Uh, um, this is my card. Please do give me a call. Okay, I will. Do take care. I appreciate that. You Bye. have a lovely day. Huh? And you too. <laughs> you have this new card. Guess what? What? I met this rich chief. The guy has enough money. You know you're a married woman, right? What are you doing with a rich chief? I know. My husband has been stingy lately. He no longer takes care of me like before. You know your husband is trying. Appreciate him a little bit oh, more. Please. See, this chief I'm talking about has enough money. Ruby! I just want to eat small, not big. No. Ruby, whether small or big, you have to cut it off before you self-destruct. Cream boy is also turning me on, babe. Really? Yeah, what do I think you did is on purpose? Oh, please! Come closer. I think I want some action. Leave me alone! Listen, you're not getting any, okay? Until you get a job. Babe, I've told you over and over, I did that for us. Leaving that job is for us. Believe me. What are you saying? Listen, whatever that is making you uncomfortable, go deal with it. You are a man. Okay, I'll deal with it later, okay? Just come closer now. Come, come, come. 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 Come, I like you a whole lot, baby. Mm? Oh I'd love to date you. Please, you're a woman of my dream. Really? Are you trying to tell me you're still single? Well, I, I am a divorcee anyway. My ex-wife and my only daughter are living in the state. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It must be really hard for you to stay without a woman. As you can see, that's why I want you in my life. Please. Listen, I'm in a relationship, but it's complicated. What do you mean that it's complicated? Me and my partner, we're having serious issues. We're always making up and breaking up. I'm just tired of the whole thing. That's the point. You're tired of the whole thing. That's, why don't you break up with him and come and date me, please? This is Ruby. It's not as easy as you think. You know what? Just give me some time, okay? Yeah, but don't just take long, my dear. Please, can't wait to have you. Okay, I want. <laughs> All right, baby. Drink on. <laughs> Come in. Hi. Hey. Cozy. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, where is Ruby? 
She probably is not around. You want to come inside and sit oh, down? No, no, it's okay. Where did she go? I don't know. Why don't you call her? Oh, I tried calling her several times, but she didn't answer. But um, when she does come, can you please let her know that I came to check on her? Okay, sure. You sure you don't want to come inside and wait for her? No, it's okay. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. All right, have a good day. Thank you. All right. Uh, is the HR making arrangements for a new manager? Yes, ma'am. But it's just so sad that Kobe had to live that way. He was so efficient. Well, clearly he doesn't want to work with this company anymore. I mean, he didn't even get to submit his resignation letter. I don't know, I just have this bad feeling that something bad has happened to him. Nothing bad has happened to him. I mean, enough of him already. I'm replacing him and that's fine now. Aren't you supposed to check up on him? I mean, he is one of your most dependable staffs in this company. He could really be in danger, you know. Then his family should have called the company. I mean, that's the right thing anyone would do. Why are you getting yourself worked up? I'm fine. Lovely. Lovely. But listen. Aunt. Get dozing on the couch. Go upstairs and rest. Oh, I, I can't. Look, I have a whole lot of work to do. Overworking yourself would only stress you out. I know. But my manager hasn't been around, so I'm doubling up for him. So why don't you get someone else to take his place temporarily? He's fired. Just that the company hasn't gotten someone competent enough to replace him. Have you found out why he has been absent? Have you? No. Am I supposed to? Why not? If he has been competent and punctual, there could just be a reason beyond his control why he's been absent. I think you should find out. And I cannot. I cannot do that for any of the staff except Martha. And that's because she's my friend. And I won't start now. He's fired and I will replace him. Alright, just go. Good night, go. Okay. I'll join you soon. I love you. I love you too. You need to rest. I will go. <laughs> okay. Hey. What do you think you're going dressed like this? What is wrong with my dress? Ruby, you are a married woman. Don't you know that? So, since you have decided to quit your job, I won't let you drag us into poverty. So I decided to look for a job. Oh my God. What job are you going to get dressed like this? A scripper? What, does it matter? Job is job. Take care of yourself. Oh my God. What am I into? Good day, ma'am. What are you doing here? Ma, I'm so sorry. I haven't been in the office. I had an accident the day you told me to go home. And I've been in the hospital ever since then recuperating. Uh, slow down. You had an accident and you couldn't inform the company or send somebody to do that for you? Ma, my wife is away and I had nobody to send to the office. You expect me to buy that? Ma, why would I lie to you? I've always been punctual. Why would I just want to sit home? 
it's a situation that, that was oh you expect your position to stay back and waiting for you i'm sorry for any inconveniences i may have caused you or the company please i will give you this last chance but make sure this doesn't repeat itself again thank you it won't and i'm hoping you came with your doctor's report yes i have it on my desk go back to your office we have so much work piled up waiting for you thank you thank you so much thank you Hello, Mr. Handsome. Oh, a bird whispered to me that you're back. Martha, can you come back, please? I'm a little busy here. You know, I could do lots of things to you to help you calm down. If you know what I mean. What is going on here? Um, nothing. I was just having a little chat with Mr. Kobe. I was actually on my way out when you walked in. Office romance. Can you tell your accountant, or should I say your friend, to stop flirting with me? Lie, you were not enjoying it. I would have if it were you, but um. Hmm. See how cute you look when you're trying to keep a straight face, and even cuter when you smile. Are you flirting with me? I'm just complimenting you, man. I think you should say thank you. Mr. Kobe, do you realize I could fire you right now? Ah. So you fire people for complimenting you, right? That's sad. This is a company. And you're paid to work. Not come here and compliment everybody around. And that's what you should do. Meet the head of marketing. I want you to, to work on something. Yes, ma'am. Babes, why you can't spoil my parole this afternoon? I don't understand. <laughs> Which parole? What are you were harassing the poor guy? And who told you he wasn't enjoying it? Well, he didn't look like he was enjoying it. Actually, it looked like you were suffocating him. Was it just me or did I sense a connection between you two? Connection? <laughs> oh, come on. It was being delusional. I saw something like hurt in your eyes when you walked in. But you quickly covered it. And I also noticed that Kobe is really interested in you. Matt, how did you make that up? Of course, you know, that's not true. Well, maybe I didn't see well. Are you ready to go? What? Uh, am I ready? Yes. I've known you in peace for a very long time. I've never seen you talk to peace with so much happiness. Oh, God, observer. I was work today. What do you care to know? I care. <laughs> as long as the money keeps rolling in, I'm happy. You're happy. Exactly. My love. Baby love. <laughs> Sweetheart. You know I love you, right? By the way, what's wrong in liking good things? Sweetheart. You know I love you, right? <laughs> Your place is beautiful. 
Yeah, and you're also looking rubbish now as well. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a choice. Looking good is good business. I like your sense of humor. Do you live here alone? Yes, sit down, let me get you a drink. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I know. I'll be leaving for a trade. There's church program in Enugu. Really? Mm hmm Okay. So when are you leaving? Friday. Friday. Okay. Just make sure you pray for me. Work and everything. You can bet on that. <laughs> <laughs> You're always in my prayers, baby. Mm -hmm. I know. You are my top priority. Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I always pray for you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey, why are you still in the office? I have a lot to do and I just want to finish it. You could do them tomorrow. No, I want to finish it today. Are you okay? Yes, I am. You look troubled. Look, I don't care as long as it doesn't affect your work. I don't have anyone to talk to about what I'm currently going through. I mean, sometimes I just think I'm, I'm going to lose it, you know, if I don't talk to someone. No, no one to trust? I hardly have friends. And uh, this is a very personal matter. Can I trust you? Uh, do you want to trust me? My goodness! I thought it was a dream! <gasps> it's real! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of my house! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out! Sorry, I'm sorry. I thought I took advantage of you, okay? I, 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 I know you didn't want it to happen. I'm, so, I'm sorry, okay? Get out of my house! I'm sorry. Get out! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did I do? Ruby? Honey? Kobe! Where are you coming from? I'm 
sorry. I was held up at the office. I had some work to do. I'm sorry. Held up by who? Not by anyone. I just had a lot of work to do and I had to complete them before I come home. By the time I was done, it was late, so I just stayed. Mm -hmm. See, my only is that I hope they give you extra cash for sleeping out of this house. Ruby, uh, I'm tired. I just want to go up, freshen up, and uh, rest a little. Can I do that? I don't understand. You want to rest? Aren't you going to work today? I will go to work. I just want to rest a little. Okay, you want to go in and rest. Okay, no problem. Go in. Go in and rest now. Lazy man. Today. Oh yes. I I woke up with a slight headache, so I had to relax a little more. Okay. Um Kobe is not yet in the office. Oh, did you guys plan to come late together? <laughs> really? What sort of silly notion is that? <laughs> Your face brightened up when I mentioned his name. <laughs> Am I missing something here? There is nothing you're missing. Something like what? Just get me coffee to help me settle a bit. Yes, boss. Mm. Listen, last night. They, they never happened. Look, I've tried. To erase what happened, what we shared, but it's not possible. I'm, I'm just so attracted to you. Don't just stop talking nonsense. Look, if you keep talking about it, I'll be forced to fire you. Don't listen to me. I'm just that. I'm not walking. Without me losing my head. What Why? Because he wanted to. He resigned or you fired him? I did not fire him. I mean, if I did, I would have told you. I will get somebody to replace him immediately. Well, it's a shame he has to go that way. He was really an asset to this company, you know. I think he was more of an asset to your eyes than the company. On a serious note, he was a good manager. Okay. I agree. He is damn sexy, but that's just a plus. He's good. And you know it. Go. Go back to your office, Mata. I got so many work to do, and you can see it. Go back to your office. I'll go. But I'll be back during lunch break. <laughs> 
Don't, don't come back. I'll be back. Please don't. I'm really serious. Don't come back else I'll fire you. Now, if a guy comes at you in a knife fight, come at me. I'll show you what you do. Wah! That's all you gotta do. You take it and you stick it right in their thigh. And then they can't run after you. Can you explain to me why you have not been going to work of recent? I resigned. You resigned. And all you do is to sit and watch television. You, know, you are watching people earning their money. Hmm? So that you can continue watching. My wife and I only had it two weeks before she went in the hospital. I did what I had to do for us. I don't want anything coming between us. Not even my job. Understand? Kobe, you keep saying that. I don't understand. How is your job affecting our union? No. The other day I came home in the morning. I couldn't stay home and sleep with you to hold my wife in my arms. To feel you. If I weren't working at that particular office, I wouldn't have stayed uh, at the office the whole night. I would have been home with you. Hmm. So because you couldn't hold me for one night, you are complaining. Honey, honey, listen to me. I will sell things out. I will get things under control very soon, okay? In fact, I'm going to start my own company, so don't worry about it. <laughs> you want to start your own company? Are you listening to yourself? Eh? You think it's that easy? Do you know how much you will have to invest? Do you know how many years it will take you to start getting returns? Look, Ruby, don't worry. I'm very experienced. Things are going to happen quickly for me, okay? All right? Kobe, I am not ready to start that journey with you. Babe, it's been a long time. Didn't your husband tell you the last time I was here? Yes, he did. Seriously? Yeah. Really? You know, I've, I have a lot on my head. Really? Mm-hmm. Babe. Yeah? You remember that chief I told you about? Which chief? Chief Basil. Don't tell me you went ahead and started dating him. Babe, this guy is loaded. I told you before. See, I'm considering of dishing Kobe for Chief Basil. Are you insane? Whatever you have with this Chief Basil, end it now and focus on your marriage. Peace, you don't understand. Kobe has turned into a lazy ass. He doesn't, he doesn't take care of my upkeep. He claims he, he, he wants to start his own company. Do you think he's going to make as much as they pay him? It's not always about the pay. It's about the fulfillment and achieving one's dream. What stupid dream? Let him stay there and be achieving his dream while I dump his ass for a well dear man. You're unbelievable. Marriage counselor, break the egg for me. That's if you want, if you like. I'm pregnant, aunt. What? Rosalind, but, but you just told me now that you're not, you're not seeing anyone. It was a terrible mistake and I regret it. We, we went on a date and we both got drunk and he offered to bring me home. One thing led to another, we ended up in bed. When did this happen? You were away in Enugu. And who's responsible for it? Who? Kobe. Kobe? Have you told him? I 
I don't need to tell him anything. I will terminate it. You're going to do what? Take the life of an innocent child? Aunt is not a baby yet. Lovely. Stop deceiving yourself. That man deserves to know that you're carrying his baby. He doesn't deserve to know anything. If he did not invite me to that stupid date, all this wouldn't have happened. You know what? I believe you will take the right decision. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Stop. Okay? It's okay. Stop crying. Okay, stop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Are you traveling? Kobe, I am tired of this union. I want out. Ruby, you know how much I love you. And you know how many sacrifices I've made for this marriage to work. Why do you want to leave now? I don't love you anymore. I found someone else. He's everything I want in a man. Ruby. Remember you used to say the same thing to me? Remember? Not anymore. These days you do things without considering me. What? Every single thing I've done since I met you, I've considered you. And everything I've done, I've done in our best interest. What do you say? Come on in, baby. Come on. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to your new home, baby. Thank you, darling. Where are the rest of your things? Oh. Those are old stuff. Right. I need to get new stuff, you know. Okay. I don't need to bring it to this house. Yeah. You know, you need to get me new clothes, yeah. new shoes, new car, right. new accessories, new Brazilian hair. <laughs> I mean, and I have a new home, new life. Come on, <laughs> oh, baby. I'm so happy that I'm not gonna feel lonely again in this house. Mm -hmm. I have my better half here with me. Better half? Right. Um, we're not married yet. But we'll soon get married. No, you don't have to lay claims on me until you do the right thing. I will soon, darling. Please. Mm, you, you better be fast about Come it. Come, let me. Get you set with first, please. Don't worry, I'm sure you do that, right? Did you hear what I said? Come on. There's I will time. do that. I will do that. Come on. Okay, please. darling. <laughs> oh. 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 Darling. Okay, this way. Thank you. Okay? Are you fine? I will, but is everything okay? Are you okay? She got the call.
his wife has left him. I think you should consider that man. Give him a chance, okay? Hmm? No way, aunt. I'm not ready for it.
Are you alright? Oh, I'm fine. Just a little fever. Fever? Fever. Mm. What <laughs> fever? <laughs> but I'm pregnant. What? How? I mean, when? How, how did it happen? Remember the day I, I came to work late? Yes. Um, Kobe had invited me for a drink the previous night. He said he was having some personal issues and he needed someone to talk to. And goodness, you know how alcohol messes up my system every time I try. I probably had too much to drink. Long story short, I woke up the next morning and he was right beside me, on my bed. You mean Kobe took advantage of you? I, no, 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 I, I will not put it that way. I mean, I knew when he started kissing me, I mean, I could have said no. But silly me, I thought I was, I thought I was dreaming. I know he had too much to drink too. Let's just say it was a mistake. Mistake? I always knew there was something going on beneath the surface. Because you kept transferring aggression to the whole staff. As if we were the reason why Kobe left in the first place. <laughs> what? I, I did? You walked me out of your office. And whenever I mentioned Kobe, you just shut me out. Like, you don't want to hear anything about him. You don't want anybody mentioning his name in the office. You, you, you just act as if he reminds you that you're missing something. <laughs> now you're making this up. I am serious. Really? Does he know that you're pregnant for him? Yes. And... It he wants me to keep the baby. So, how will his wife take all this? I mean... Well, he said, he said he's no longer with his wife. Honestly, I'm confused, Martha. I really don't know what to do if I want this child or not. I'm trying to make up my mind. I think you should keep the baby. That's all you say? Who was that? His name is Kobe. I was married to him, but it's over now. But you never told him that we were married? Yes, I know. But I told you our relationship was complicated. Yes, yes, but you would have told him that you were a divorcee. I know, I'm sorry. I felt it wasn't necessary. Mm. Then why the divorce? Irreconcilable difference. It turned out to be the opposite of who I married. But I think he still loves you. Oh. He still cares for you. Don't let him deceive you. Kobe sure? cares about himself alone. You yes, sure? I'm very sure. Honey, I hope he didn't spoil your day. Well, just that the guy has been silly, man. Oh, sorry, oh. darling. It's okay. It's okay. Let's, 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 go, let's, let's go inside. Mom! Mr. Kobe is here to see you. But I already told him he can't come in because he no longer works here. Tell him to get out. Thank you, Mom. Mr. Kobe, I told you that. Mr. Lovely, Kobe! Lovely name from you. But my wife bluntly. Who's that? Who? You. 
Where are the divorce papers? For how long were you seeing that man before you left to be with him? It doesn't matter now, does it? It doesn't matter? A year was sacrificing everything. Everything for our marriage. Hey, please, please. I'm not here to listen to your pity talks, okay? Please, just, just sign the damn papers. The marriage is over. Collect this thing. So many years, this is the help you can give me. A pen. The best life you ever had. I can see. Shaking. Sign this thing, let me leave here. Sorry I didn't ask her outside. Are you related to her? Yes, I'm her auntie. Please. Okay. Sit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. You Ma. said you are Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. Okay. Um Ma, I know by now you probably would have known that Lovely is pregnant. And uh I just wanted to first of all say that I'm responsible for the pregnancy. I, I've tried to talk to Lovely not to terminate the pregnancy, but she's refused. So I just, I'm just hoping you could talk to her, you know, so that she doesn't terminate the pregnancy, please. Her major concern is your wife. She doesn't want to be of any problem at all in your family. Ma, my wife and I, we're divorced. My wife left me for another man. Ma, I just want you to know that I really do love Lovely. And I just want to be with her. <sighs> I think you should talk to her. Let her know how much you love her and how much you want her to keep the child. I have, Ma, severally. But she's refused to listen to me. I mean, if she doesn't want to have a child out of wedlock, we could get married before the, the pregnancy even starts to show. I hope you're not proposing marriage because she's carrying your child. No, Ma, no. I love her, even if she doesn't have a child for me. I still want to get married to her. Okay. I'll talk to her. Let's pray she sees reasons. Okay? Yes, ma. Thank I'll you, talk ma. to her. Thank you so much, ma. Welcome. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, honey. What do you mean that you are coming back with the keys by the end of the month? No, no, you are supposed to come back next year. What rumor? I am not with anyone. I am not. Don't let them deceive you with gossips okay i love you baby 
extend my greeting to the keys. I let me go now. I have some girls I have to attend to. Right? Bye. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Hi, baby. So you are married with kids? I thought you told me you're a divorcee with a daughter. You lied to me. Hey, woman, don't play a scene here. You also lied to me. You never told me that you're married. You just recently divorced your husband. You think I wouldn't know? But I did it for you. For me? Yes. Why didn't you tell me you're married? I wouldn't have left my husband. You did it for me. Okay? You have destroyed me. Left your husband because of her insatiable greed for you. Okay? Please, don't just. What are you saying? You are a very wicked man. How could you do this to me? I didn't do anything to you, my dear. You've just been played, I. Okay? In case you didn't get the details, my wife and kids are coming back by the end of the month. So, you understand? You will pay for this! Pay for what? You will pay for this! Can I start looking for a way to stay, my friend? <laughs> I think I'll make a good mother. Why not? Listen, sweetheart, you will make a fantastic mom. Trust me. I think so. I know so. I'm ready to keep this child. Good! <laughs> oh! I'm happy now. Look at her! No way, aunt. I am not ready for a relationship. I got me thinking he can get me because I'm carrying his child. And to stop cajoling me into a relationship with Kobe. Look, auntie. I would do very well as a single mother if that's what you're afraid of. Please, please, come on, girl. Please, do not deny your child the joy of living with your parents. Okay? Alright, I'll join you soon. Talking about how he's a married man with children. His wife and kids are coming back by month end, and I don't have anywhere to stay. I hate to say this, but I told you so. I warned you, and you didn't listen. I know. I was blinded by wealth, but I'm wiser now. Baby, you know what? You have to follow me. I need to beg Kobe. I know he loves me. He'll forgive me. He'll take me back. No, this is your mess. You fix it. Oh, please, please. please. Fix it yourself. Please, please, please. 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 Please.
Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy. You know what? <laughs> you got to tell me. How did you find my place? <sighs> Company and database. Ah, I should have known. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> you are not dreaming, Kobe. Hmm. I came to tell you my final decision. Look, love, all I'm asking is that you just, you just give us a chance, please. I have told you, Serenity, to stop calling me love. I, I came to tell you I've made up my mind to give you a chance and keep the baby. <laughs> Come here. Come on. 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 Do I know you? Young lady, get out. Out! I love you. Wow, finally. 